All right, so we have officially gotten into TwitchCon, as in we're in a hotel that is a mile away from TwitchCon. So as you guys can all see, uh, Snarfy is Hi. Fe feverishly working on his business cards, which I, let me come and get, get a nice little shot up here, a live production shot. Isn't it exciting? It really is. It's based off of the infamous Snarfy Bobo logo, as seen on his shirt. I've already made I think that was 50 right there. And you, you gonna finish that? What? Gonna fi how many do you have left? Oh, I only have like 25 total more cards. Okay, cool. So cool. we're definitely done then. Neat. Uh, so we're gonna go over to the convention center to hopefully get our uh, speaker badges for those who need speaker badges. And I don't know, hang out there until our good friend Zachary Witten from St. Jude gets out um, of his stuff. stuff he has to do. And then we can go on a magical journey to dinner maybe. And then come back here. Also, I need to tell a funny story about how I forgot all of my underwear. Whoops. Um, so our good friend Mojo from Zeldathon is going to remedy the situation <laughs> on her way here. So bless you, Mojo and Falchin. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Harry body. Um, this... <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is me, Super MC, and at Magfest. This is Magfest. You Magfest 2013. Yep, we're back here. Uh, no, we're at TwitchCon. Uh, Magfest 13 was in 2015, actually. Yes, you you are accurate because it was weird because it's 13. Yeah, anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Uh, so TwitchCon uh, day day zero is now completed. I'm getting ready to go to bed. My phone's ringing off the hook because I think uh, Mojo, Jiggy, and folks are still getting in right now. Um, but uh, I'm about to head to bed. Uh, I got, I got Scott here and Brooke, who's off camera. Hello. Um, it's Ashens. Uh, but I, I head up the XSplit party because I got an invite for some reason, and we're like, why not go to that one instead of the stupid Discord one, which had a line around the block. It's like, screw that, man. Uh, so instead, we went there, and uh, what, what do we get? Let's find out. Because I actually haven't looked in here uh, fully. I know one thing that's in here. Um, an XSplit t-shirt in size, I will never fit into a medium, no matter how much lose I... Wait, I lose. No lose, I, I wait. wait. <laughs> but this will serve as a good collector's item and slash or uh, burnable object uh, kindling. I'm just kidding. I, I would never do that text. Oh. Uh, we got a lanyard that says player.me. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I saw it there at the party, so maybe I'll look into that one. Uh, we got a... <laughs> we got a card of branding. Holy smokes, there's a lot of branding on here. That's cool. Oh, it has a free code on that on there, so I'll, I'll take the free code, even though I've actually not, look that's at me. A, that's the three month code. It's a three month for free premium expert license. Yeah. YouTube, this one's free. <laughs> Can you read that? If not, get a better camera and tell me what it says. Um, we got a, a wristband that says stream, but they they misspelled stream. They put an X in it. I I I don't think they understand that one. Thank you for the wristband. We also have. Um, a VIP link to whatever Strix is, and it looks like a, a sticker for whatever this logo is. So far, I've got a, a bunch of confusing logos. <laughs> Speaking of confusing logos, uh, face rig is some instant digital cosplay. I'm not keeping this code because uh, I don't want to do regular cosplay. And lastly, and definitely not leastly, the brand new announced tonight. C922 Pro Web Live Streaming Web Camera. This thing does 60 FPS, man. Uh, which is really actually a, oh, at 720p it does 60 FPS. Uh, let's see that stat there, but that's cool. That's still very awesome. And uh, it also does the automatic background replacement stuff. So if you don't even have a green screen, you can still pretend you do, and it'll still work like you do. It comes with a tripod. What, it comes with a tripod? Yeah. Holy crap, it comes with, a, look at this little tri mini tripod is in this crap little thing. Yeah, those are usually like 10 bucks. No, you give me that back, son. <laughs> anyway, um, anyways, I'm gonna backpedal a little bit. So today we started out, uh, we, we rolled on into San Diego around 11 a.m. We mostly just hung out inside the hotel room. We got in pretty quickly, um, talked with Kay and stuff. Uh, we eventually did go out to get some, uh, we went to the actual TwitchCon location. Uh, it was looking absolutely amazing. Uh, we got our passes all, all sorted. I got upgraded to, um, Swag bag status, so let's open up the second swag bag since I'm there. This is the TwitchCon swag bag. Uh, uh, there's one extra item in here because I'm a partner as opposed to everybody else, so. 
Uh, first thing is um, them sending a message with some Old Spice Swagger deodorant. Thank you, TwitchCon, for making our life smell better. Although Swagger's not my preferred uh, flavor. Uh, you guys, your TwitchCon official lanyard, which I will not be using because I have a uh, Zelda lanyard because I'm a dork. Amazon Basics sunglasses, UV protection. Doesn't say how much, but there is UV protection. That's good. We got, let's see, um, an Extra Life advertisement. Hey, Gaming for Charity, you should do that one. Um, got a Taco Bell gift card for an unspecified amount. I'm guessing at least one taco. So that's nice of them. We got here also 15% uh, off my first luxury beauty purchase at amazon.com slash luxury beauty if I use Twitch Lux as a promo code. Give so, so you, you gotta get your makeup? No, back off. I gotta get my, my eyeliner tomorrow. Anyways, uh, Amazon Game Studios Breakaway, an advertisement. So if you haven't noticed the theme so far, it's mostly advertising, including uh, another Old Spice advertisement. And uh, next we have, this is a really interesting one. This is them trying to keep us healthy. Um, they're, they're like vitamins of both a men's and a women's variety. Um, this is a lot of like stuff that we good during a TwitchCon where everybody is going to get each other sick by the end of it. Uh, no matter how many vitamins they give us in the end, to be honest with you. Um, we have a, a logo. Uh, game show. Game streaming software. Oh no, I just advertised XSplit. Is this a conflict of interest? And uh, lastly, a pin. Um, it was like a little grab bag. Uh, the one I originally got was the spaghetti. But I didn't get the, I didn't say it was spaghetti. Instead, I, I went with the, the bleed purple. I traded Brooke. So, a little, little bleed purple pen, so I'm happy about that one. Anyways, um, so after we, we hit up the expo hall real quick to see what's going on, uh, I saw Aurelian for a solid few seconds. She was like the most busy person on the face of the planet, so she didn't even see me there, even though I was like right in front of her. I was like, whatever, Aurelian, you know, I, I know you're busy. I'm just gonna, I'll talk to you tomorrow when your, mar your marathon, your event's going smoothly. So, I, I, I pieced out of there. Um, where did we go after that? We went to food. We went, to first food. we went to first food. Our, our, we don't have names for these meals. They're all just food. Um, we went to a nice little place called Mary Jane's. Yeah. Mary Jane's. And I had a nice salad, which will be a running theme of this weekend, I think. Um, that was good. Yeah, we came back to the here and we hung out. Uh, we, we met a nice streamer whose name I, I totally don't remember. So I feel He's like. Part team Pixel. A team of Pixel Perfect. Team Pixel Perfect. So cool. I'll have to look him up afterwards. Um, that, that was interesting. Uh, I, I like talking to new people, and we. Yeah, was cool. We talked about cars. We talked about cars. It's a lot of cars. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah. And after that, where did we go? Uh, we left here and went to meet Zach. Yes, we went to go see uh, Zachary Witten, um, Susan Rodnight, and other uh, Jay. Yeah. Jay from yeah. Saint Jude. <laughs> Zach's boss. Yeah, Zach's boss. So uh, I went to uh, to this. Uh, the, what was that, that? We ate at. Uh, the. The union. Un union. Union. Kitchen. Union kitchen and tap. Yeah, union kitchen tap. And uh, I, I I had a salad. <laughs> Yeah, and but that, that place was really nice. It was a really wonderful dinner. We 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 talked like I I I, I we talked for about like an hour and a half. Yeah, we talked for an hour and a half about Zelda Fawn Charity Gaming, and yeah, it was yeah. really fun. I'm saying that went hard. Yeah, it was it was insane. Uh, and Sh Shadow and, and Video James joined us, and we that was, that was nice. It was around this time people are starting to finally uh, get their flights in, including Scott. Um, However, we, we got back, we talked to Steve from Direct Leaf because he had gone in at this point. So we talked with him briefly inside his hotel room. It was a wonderful time talking to him. He's always a character. Um, afterwards, we went to the Exploit party where I got the, the swag bag and we talked to a bunch of people on behalf of Direct Relief Gaming. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, they revealed the, the, the webcam that I got and that thing looks pretty neat. Uh, you can pre-order right now. You can pre-order now, so not ninety-nine dollars. They're actually keeping flying it. off the shelves. Yeah, the, the cool thing is they're keeping it at the price point as the C920. So, nice. it's a, the so. price point of a three, four-year-old camera. Yeah, I, I'm operators a, are standing by. Operators are standing by. I call one eight hundred, not a number. Okay, and we met up with EE. We met up with EE, uh, and also saw TK Breezy and Gimmer. Like as we were like literally Ubering out of here, it was, uh, it was like halfway through this party that I get a message from Scott. He's just like, "I'm in your hotel room," and I'm like, 
I'm sorry I can't get another person sneakily into the exploit party because I got Steven. He he was apparently on the list even though nobody added him. I told I, I was like, this is my plus one. And Steve was like, do we have to make out? I'm like, no, we do not. And he was like, okay. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Um, no, it was, it was a fun time. Uh, and then we got back here and I've been up for 37 plus hours. So, uh, we're so I'm going to turn off this webcam. <laughs> this, this is not a webcam, this is a professional camera. I'm going to get some rest. Uh, I got my, I'm going to crit this bed, roll, roll natural 20, and uh, that's going to be good. Um, I think tonight I'm going to sleep up here, and then I'll, I'll let Scott and Brooke uh, take the beds. Uh, but I need to sleep up here for uh, my panel tomorrow, at the very darn least. So, overall, impressions. TwitchCon's crazy so far just because like there's people everywhere. Like, San Diego's now like becoming overpopulated with Twitch streamers. Like the color purple is actually like legitimately like bleeding everywhere onto the streets. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, there were so many Twitch nerds at the gate at Dulles. <laughs> you don't even know our, our whole like our, our whole plane. Flight, yeah. Our whole flight was Twitch. Yeah, you, you you think you're cool and then like with your Twitch hoodie and then you, the, everybody else wearing Twitch hoodies and you're like, I'm not special. You know what was you hold know, on, what was funny. Oh, there's gonna be a, a cut here. Oh, oh my gosh. Who, who, Hold on. <laughs> who goes there? Right, buddy. So you you came in at the perfect time. Oh, would you look at that? Would, would you would you like to <laughs> tell Who's everybody who are right? these people? So, just like Magfest, please tell us the story of how you've gotten here. You're, uh, five hours later than intended. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Uh, I did this thing I do where uh, whenever I book a, a thing anywhere uh, in which I try to save the absolute most money as possible. So I booked on Frontier Airlines, which if you haven't heard of it, uh, good. Um, <laughs> no, actually actually flying on Frontier was, was nice. I actually, I'll do it again. It was everything that happened afterwards that sucked. Uh, so I fly into LAX, which you may know is about, I don't know, about three and a half hours away from where we are right now <laughs> because it was about $250 cheaper. You know, so right, of course, of course I'll jump on that. Well, what I didn't realize is how far away uh, the Amtrak station was from LAX. Like, it's literally an hour away. The the Los Angeles Amtrak station is an hour away from the airport. <laughs> I didn't. Did you freak not look on <laughs> I did, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I, I thought it was the map way shifted. I don't know. Something weird <laughs> happened, and it was way further yeah. away than I thought. Right, and right. so I'm thinking, crap. And so I have to take. I I, I anticipated did taking you see a the shuttle. Post station for the California high speed rail at LAX. Was that it? <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what I saw, but it wasn't where I had to go. Uh, so I take this. Uh, I take the shuttle, which I anticipated having doing, but I didn't anticipate it taking an hour and a half to get there. Uh, and so I miss, I miss the early train leaving for San Diego. Even after all that time, I only miss the train by 10 minutes. And so I sit on the floor of a Starbucks in Union Station for an hour and a half, charging what, my they phone. Were they out of chairs? They didn't have any chairs. <laughs> well, this is like some California, California doesn't have it's California man. They don't have the budget for chairs uh, So I'm sitting on the floor under the table of, of this thing in LAX like if a worker looked under and saw me They would she would probably call the cops It's like I'm just sitting there and I'm talking to this nice man who keeps falling asleep every three minutes about how his Apple phone is broken And I, I gave him some Apple tech support, you know because I know things about that with my LG G3 uh, and so I, I sit there and I wait and I finally get on the late train and then I just I just slept the whole time and then we arrived in San Diego and uh, my Uber driver this is why I love San Diego this is why I love you've San been Diego. here what like five minutes yes and I love it here because <laughs> let me tell you something let me tell you something in Cleveland Ohio land that I love stand beside her and guide her through the night all right whatever uh, we don't get complimentary mints and complimentary bottles of water with our three minute Uber rides. But in San Diego, you do. Actually, it, it was funny. Uh, when I marked to put, uh, when I put, marked my address for pickup on the Uber, it gave like a range of addresses because I wasn't like really in a legit space. Um, and so I didn't think the guy knew where to go because I saw like just a car just sitting over there. Uh, and I asked him, hey, are you, are you coming? He's like, yeah, I'm coming. I'm making a U-turn now. I see you. Don't worry. And I get there. He's like, yeah, I couldn't turn right then because that cop was staring me down for 10 minutes. And I didn't want to get arrested trying to pick you up for a $6 Uber, which I could understand. My Uber driver to get to the airport was a Syrian <laughs> Donald Trump supporter. You found a unicorn. 
So, so the, the, the moral story is, you got here once again. I got here, man. And I got here the only way I would ever want to get here. With the story for the ages. I'd have rather gotten here five hours ago. On that note, I got I've been up for 37 hours. So is Brooke. We're going to go to bed. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go do something else. See you on see day you. one.